All right, Zach, we are ready to roll. What's, uh, what's wrong? Can we pause on filming for just a sec? Someone just called in sick. We have a big event tonight. Can you help me run the door? You, yeah, you. We use a Splash Host app. It's super easy. I bet I can get you up and running in a hummingbird's heartbeat. Let's do it. First things first, we need to get the Splash app for your device. Head over to the App Store and search for Splash Host. Download that baby and you're good to go. All right, we got the app. Now you're gonna log in using those credentials I shared with you earlier. Open the app up, pop in your username and password and hit login. Don't worry about that organization login button. That's only for users who are using single sign-on. The first screen you're gonna see when you log in is your events dashboard. This is gonna have every event that you're collaborating on. Open up the event you're working on, and this is gonna load the events guest list. Now as a best practice, I always do this before I head to the venue, just in case we don't have internet connection. Right away, we could start checking people in. It's as easy as swiping, but we'll get to that in a moment. My best practice, I like to open up my filters and arrange my guest list so it's easy to look at. So first I'll go into my display options. I like to show a useful secondary label under the guest's name. This is a way of identifying the guest quickly when greeting them at the door. So in this scenario, I'm gonna put owner or the relationship person underneath the guest name. You can see the result now within the guest list. One other thing to be aware of, occasionally when we're working on this event, different people from the event team will ask us, how many clients are in the room? How many prospects are in the room? To answer that question, you'll use your filters. Scroll down to the list section and you could filter by any of your custom lists or even your statuses here. So in this example, if I want to look at prospects, I just check that off, hit apply, and now the list is only prospects. Pretty easy, right? Okay, now for the fun part, the reason we're here. We're gonna check some people in. Easiest way of doing this, Use the search bar and search by name. Right from the search results, you could just swipe to the right to check someone in. Hit done, you're back on the list, and a little status indicator at the bottom of the screen tells you how many people have been checked in. One thing that's gonna happen, guests are gonna bring their QR codes, either printed out or on their smartphone. You could use the Splash Host app and the camera to scan that code and check guests in. Here, let me show you. Give me your QR code. No, you, yeah, let me have it. All you have to do is hit the little icon off to the right here, that loads the device's camera, scan that baby, and the guest is automatically checked in. It's probably the most efficient way to get somebody checked in, so I highly recommend it. If unregistered guests show up, no problem. We're gonna register them as walk-ins. Hit the plus button to open the quick add function, and then enter the number of people who are in the party. The first guest is considered the primary guest. Every person after that will be registered as their plus one. On the next screen, you'll enter the person's details. All the questions that were, may have been required on the online registration form will be optional here for speed purposes. Enter the details into this form. From here, you get to choose what the guest status will be. I recommend marking them as checked in and not sending a confirmation email. The good news, once you set this up for one guest, the app will remember your settings and automatically apply them to all future guests. Now the guest is on the list, automatically checked in. Pretty easy, right? What I may tell you next may come as a shock. Sometimes Wi-Fi doesn't work at the venue. Crazy, right? So let's simulate what happens in case we lose internet connection. When you're offline, you'll see the red bar up top. You can continue to check guests in and register your walk-ins as you normally would. Let's try it together. You can see as I'm checking them in, the bottom right, there's a little indicator that tells you how many unsync guests there are. Watch that closely. If the internet doesn't come back, after the event, go to a place where you do have Wi-Fi, open the app, open the event, and you'll see the check-ins automatically sync. Now don't worry, I'll handle this the day of, but occasionally we're asked to send an email out to various guests, last minute, on site. 
When that happens, I pop into the message center. From here, I'm able to compose a plain text email. I have control over my from line, my subject line, and the message body here. The best part, I go to recipients. I'm able to select any segment of guests, either by status or by list. This is great for getting last second VIP communication out, or if I want to open up a few spots for our wait list. Do you feel that? I feel like you and I are really becoming a team. In case we decide to step away for a quick drink, let me show you how to activate self-registration and self-check-in. Kiosk mode allows us to set the iPad up on a stand, so guests can self-register and self-check-in. All we do is make a few decisions. Do we want to allow self-check-in, self-registration? Do we want to lock the device with a passcode so that guests can venture away from it? Probably yes. You also get to decide what default status a guest will be registered with. Checked in makes sense here. Hitting launch kiosk opens the kiosk screen. Now our guests don't even need us. They could scan their own QR code, check themselves in by email address, and even use the registration function to sign themselves up on site. Thank you for filling in for my friend. That was pretty easy and dare I say, kind of fun. You now have the tools to be great. I can't wait to run the door with you.